Yeah. What's going on, y'all? You know who it is. Mr. Warmack, a.k.a. Low Rent, a.k.a. The Ignorant American, a.k.a. The Truth As You Know It, a.k.a. Dirty Business, a.k.a. The Jet Jaguar of YouTube. Hey, man, I'm going to give you guys a quick video. You know what a pretty face who I am. You know what a pretty face what I do. So, so let me jump into this. Today, oh, this is on a quick video. This is nothing going to be, like, long, drawn out. None of my usual... 15 to 30 minute diatribes. I'm going to give you, uh, I'm going to condense this into hopefully under five minutes and give you guys a little joy in your life. Well, the ladies, you already got that when you turned on when you hit the play button, but I'm going to give you a little bit more joy in your life. Today I'm going to talk about how sting operations have been declared unconstitutional. Now, I'm going to talk about how the, like, there's two federal, there's a two federal judge, but of two federal judges rule that these sting operations, and let me explain what these are, some of these sting operations. They do them in Chicago, Cleveland, Pittsburgh, Brooklyn, uh, Philadelphia, Miami, Memphis, Atlanta, Los Angeles, Oakland, Houston, Dallas. They do them in a lot of cities. What they do is, they have, they'll do, there's a couple of them. One is the drug one, the other one's the car one. There's a, there's a bunch of them. There's two that I know. That, the one, the one, the drug bust one was where they would set these dudes up. Where I know where there's a, there's a house that has a shitload of dope and money, and they'd get these cats off the street and sucker them in. Now, mind you, they're, they're first of all, this is basic entrapment. I don't know how the government got away with this. This is basic. Like, like if, if you would have told these dudes, they wouldn't be thinking about it. They were going off of, they were going off of profiling. Basically, they were going to. They were, going, they were doing racial, they were doing economic profile. They were going to rich and, they were going to black, and they, then they were going to poor. They were picking on, like I said, they were, they were profiling. It was your own government, your local authorities. Like I said, the drug one is where they get the, uh, the um, they, they pull, tell people or undercover go to them, hey man, I know where there's a house, where there's, where there's some shit and some money, you know, we need to go get a lick. And a lot of people would get, went for it, and they'd have them, they'd sit them in a the car, Two cops to be either in the somehow they would get you in the middle where the camera was and then they lay the scenario down and shit would be okay. And after a while you getting picked up and you're like, what the fuck going on? And then that's what happened. And there's the one, there's a the bait car where they, they set a car inside like, well that one I can kinda of see, but the other one, the mostly it was a drug one with a um ruled on constitutional. The judges formally saying that they have to ask the people uh, like I said, people were targeted. The judges asked, well, were these people targeted? And they were. They were targeted like, it's, it's, it's a, it was like a sting, but it was a fucked up sting. No, and, and the people weren't getting, and the judges weren't getting the right answers to all these questions. The judges were actually asking these questions. And like, the government didn't have any answers for them, so, you know, it, it's entrapment. The government, like, the government was doing this. But like, this, this, is, this shouldn't alarm you, because there's been times where let me tell you scenarios. This is back in the day. Well, this is after I cleaned my act up. There were times where, like, you would go out, right? You go to a club and stuff. Say you went to the restroom. One of these dudes would find a find a, a twenty bag on the floor, find half an ounce on the floor, pick it up. Hey man, is this yours? You look like a regular dude in a club, and you're like. The dummy would say, I'd say, if you are that, that stupid, go, yeah, it's mine. I was like, that shit ain't mine. Number one, it wasn't mine to begin with, but what they were doing, they were trying to trap me. Say, I take the back weed, they're sitting in the club, I leave the club, all of a sudden, I drive down the road for like, like maybe not even a half a mile, all of a sudden I got the cherries lit up. Well, uh, with that suspicion, you got drugs in the car. I got no drugs in the car. Well, yes, you do. No, I don't. Yes, you do. Can we search it? No. We're gonna get the dogs. I don't give a fuck. Dog hits on it, open the door. How'd they get you? When you dropped that weed, that weed that you didn't drop, the dude was a cop. So it's a lot of entrapment going on. It's just that I just never fell into all that bullshit. I was like, look, man, that shit ain't mine. There's many times where I, where I was getting, they were trying to do it to me. I was like, look, man, keep it moving. I go to work, I mind my business. So. The courts are finally standing up and saying, hey, this, this is entrapment. So. I'm about to run out of time, so I'm out of here. Peace.
you don't miss your own self. 